it's December, and that means DOS December. So this entire month, we're talking about DOS and DOS applications. And of course, this channel is entirely about DOS and FreeDOS and different classic DOS applications and games. In this video, I wanted to show off one of my favorite category of DOS applications, and that's a spreadsheet. So let's start by taking a look with the original DOS spreadsheet, VisiCalc. So uh, here I've got a copy of VisiCalc. I wanted to just show you here. Uh, it's a very small program, uh, just 27K, but it actually is a pretty uh, complete spreadsheet compared to what you'd find today. And here's, of course, the standard uh, spreadsheet view. I wanted to show you kind of a, a simple calculation that we can do using a spreadsheet. And so we're going to do a calculation of the Fibonacci numbers. So the Fibonacci sequence, if you remember, uh, the Fibonacci of 0 is 0. And the Fibonacci of 1 is 1. And then every number after that is going to be the sum of the two numbers that came before it. And so here I can do... Uh, let's do a calculation, so we'll do plus uh, b2 plus b1. That's the sum of b1 and b2, and that's 1. And I can now replicate that across a number of other cells. And so I'm going to do slash to bring up the menu. And remember, VisiCalc has very simple uh, letters up here. It's not a, what you'd think of as a very helpful menu to, compared to today, but th that's what you have. You got very good at remembering what these different letters stood for. And so I'm going to do R to replicate. And so I'm going to replicate starting from B3. So I'll just hit Enter. And I'm going to put this into, let's do B4. Uh, dot 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 and then uh, let's go down just B10 and it's going to ask you for each of those calculations because remember that was uh, B3 is going to be B1 plus B2 so it's going to ask you about each one of those numbers do I want to uh, lock it into that specific cell or do I want to make this relative to basically one cell above and two cells above and I want to make it relative in this case we'll so do R for that one and then R for the next one and so now you can see I've got a calculation that's being run across the different iterations of the Fibonacci sequence going all the way up to 34. Now, a neat thing about spreadsheets, or something you really need to keep in mind, is that uh, DOS spreadsheets really needed you to uh, calculate from left to right and top to bottom. Uh, and uh, so we can try to run this uh, calculation again, but sort of backwards. So let's do that. Let's go over here and we're going to say, okay, the, uh, the Fibonacci of 0 is 0. And the Fibonacci of 1 is 1. And so let's repeat that calculation, but let's go upwards. So uh, this is not how VisiCalc wants you to perform calculations. And so we're going to see that we're going to have to do a manual recalc. So let's go ahead and do a calculation that says, okay, F9 uh, plus F10. And so that's 1. And let's go ahead and replicate that. So we'll slash and then R to replicate. So we're going to start from F8. Let's hit enter on that. And we're going to go all the way up to F1 dot 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 F7. Hit return. And it's going to say, okay, uh, relative. Yep, relative for both of these, F9 and F10. And now it's done a calculation. And you can see if I if I move my cursor up, you can see that it is actually calculating or it's trying to calculate. But at some point it kind of gives up. Uh, and so you manually need to recalculate. And you do that in VisiCalc by just pressing the exclamation point uh, key. So we're going to do that uh, a couple of times. And you can see that as I uh, press exclamation point each time, we'll do it one more time here, uh, it's doing more of the calculation. But there's a lot of iterations here to calculate. So we'll do it one more time. Uh, and I have to do it a couple more times here to actually get it to up be all the way to 34. And so all you have to do is hit it a couple of times here until the numbers stop calculating. And then you know that the recalculation is done. But mo yeah, most DOS spreadsheets of the era uh, really wanted you to calculate from left to right and top to bottom. If you do it the other way around, uh, you can wind up with uh, situations like that where you have to manually recalculate. And that's why these old DOS spreadsheets had a manual recalculate uh, hotkey. And so that's it for this video. Uh, before I go, I just want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen, and I appreciate your support. Some of you are supporting me at a higher level, and I wanted to thank you here for that. Visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.